Uh, Tavon Dawson, West Virginia University, number one, and I play wide receiver. I mean, well, it's definitely a good fit, and just because you know all the other, other, other great players that been came past I me, mean, uh, Blackman, Des Bryant, uh, Monty Ball. So it's definitely an honor to be here, and I still can be with them. And uh, I'm just thankful that my name is called, and I'm thankful for the, my, my, my blockers and my team. presenting a 22-inch Optic Crystal Trophy to the 2012 National All-Purpose Performer of the Year, Tavon Austin. I definitely was a great fan just because, you know, West Virginia, that's my family, my second family, and uh, it felt good to share it with them. Uh, they really show how much I appreciate them, and they gave me a lot of love. I just want to thank them, too. Man, it definitely was a great fan. I always had it, and um, I'm just glad that Coach Holes gave me the opportunity to play running back that game and show what I can do. And, um, it just boils back to just practicing hard and playing hard and being humble. And uh, I'm just thankful that I came out that game and had a very good game. I mean, I'm thankful for my family, my grandmother, my mother. They always been in my corner. They the ones that told me how to be humble, and I always, they always, my grandma always tell me that somebody out there better than you. you know? I just keep that on my shoulders, and every game, I just come in day in, day out, and try to grind, and just keep my grandma, my mother on my shoulders. Uh, you know, the number one goal was to finish the season strong, uh, for hopefully get the win. You know, I want my dream to come true in the NFL, but you know, we get our first step is get the win first, and then we hand it after after this. Uh, Tavon Dawson, I'm um, 2012, took the award this year. I just want to thank the fans. I want to thank the whole W Nation for having me. Y'all made me a better person, and I love y'all. Hey, I'm uh, Dana Hogerson, head coach at West Virginia. Um, here to talk about Tavon Austin. It's uh, been a pleasure coaching him for two years. He's, uh, you know, when I, when I first got here, I said that he's got the potential to be the most dynamic player in college football. Uh, after coaching him for two years, I think it's pretty obvious that he's the most dynamic player in college football, whether it's uh, being a running back, being a receiver, being a returner, he's pretty much got it all. Yeah, it was good that, you know, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a shame that our students aren't here right now because they would have they been loud and rowdy for, for four or five minutes as we presented that thing, but we're in, we're in Christmas break, so they weren't here to see it, but it was nonetheless uh, we got a great following here at West Virginia, and they were excited to see Tavon uh, uh, hold the trophy up. Uh, I think I think his arms got sore as he was holding that that had that 22 pound <laughs> trophy up for four or five minutes. I think he got tired. Well, it takes great players, you know, and I've been I've been fortunate to coach some great players. Uh, you know, when I was at Texas Tech, you know, having guys like Wes Welker and Danny Amendola and Mike Crabtree and. Going to Houston and coach guys like Case Keenum and, and, and at Oklahoma State, guys like Justin Blackman and Kendall Hunter and Brandon Weed and those guys, and then being able to come here to West Virginia and coach Geno Smith and Stedman Bailey, and then obviously the, the one and only Tavon Austin that uh, uh, has been blessed. I've been blessed to have a career like that. You know, we'd work hard to put a good product out there when it comes to scheme, scheme and 
coaching guys up, but it takes great players like Tavon to be able to make it work. Probably the single greatest performance any any college players possibly ever had. You know, and he didn't get the recognition for it because we lost by one. If we would have won by one, then he would have got more and more credit for the things that he did. It wasn't one time. There was probably six or seven times that he that he got the ball and just did tremendous things and things that I couldn't probably describe. So uh, that, thing, that, that one performance, something that I'm going to remember and college football is going to remember for a long time. Dana Hogerson, head coach, West Virginia, uh, here, here to support the one and only Tavon Austin.